Good day, RGV. Today on Valley Por Vida, we're continuing our observance of breast cancer awareness. Plus, we're telling you about one local organization that's doing all they can to help RGV residents in our community. That info and more today. The show starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us today. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, during the month of October, we highlighted breast cancer awareness information, tips, resources, and observance, of course, of the National Month. But the things that we learned are those of which we can definitely take with us every single day of the year, always. So we're continuing our self-awareness and self-education as such. Go ahead and take a look. Hi, my name is Dr. Vanessa Medina. I am a radiologist with a specialty in breast imaging and I'm here to talk about breast cancer awareness. The biggest thing that our viewers can do to help us support this cause is to just talk about it. Um, let your, you know, ask your mom, ask your grandma, ask your aunt, uh, have they been getting screened and let them know the importance of screening. Our staff here at the Rio Grande Imaging Center are very experienced. They've been doing this for greater than 15 years. Our technologists are excellent and they make the experience very easy and comfortable for all of our patients. Screening mammography is very important for all women just because early detection is key. We want to find that breast cancer at the smallest possible size so that you have the best chance at survival. Annual screening mammography should begin for all women at age 40. Now this is extremely important for our women here in the Rio Grande Valley because we are predominantly Hispanic and minority women are actually 72% more likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer before the age of 50. Early detection is key. The survival rate for a stage one breast cancer is 98% as opposed to stage four breast cancer, which is around 20%. I tend to hear from a lot of my patients that they don't need to be screened annually because they don't have a family history of breast cancer or any cancers or they're not considered high risk. However, about 75% of women diagnosed with breast cancer do not have a family history and are not considered high risk. My biggest advice to women is to not be scared to come get their mammograms. It is very important that we find these cancers early because early detection is key. Breast cancer treatment has improved drastically over the years and the survival rate of stage one breast cancer is 98%. Women, you know your body best. You are the biggest advocate for yourself. So if you feel like something's off, you feel like something's different, be sure to see your physician so that you can make sure you're getting the proper care. Anybody wanting to schedule a screening mammogram must be uh, age 40 uh, with no symptoms. And they can call our uh, imaging center at 956-668-6900. We recommend that mammograms be scheduled on your birth month. That way it's easier to remember when your annual exams uh, are due. The day of your exam, it is important that you bring in your insurance card and a picture ID. We are a self-referral facility, so if you're scheduling a screening mammogram, which means you are asymptomatic, you do not need a referral from your doctor, but we do prefer that you bring one if possible. Family members and friends can encourage their, the women in their family to get their screening mammograms and to be aware that there are changes in the breast that do require women to get checked and to not ignore those. All right, we hope some of that information is able to be beneficial for you or a loved one. And on that note, let's go ahead and take a commercial break. But stick with us because Valley Por Vida is gonna be right back. And we'll talk about even more resources offered by one local business from our RGB community. We'll be right back.
Purpose, New Network. That's News Nation. Hi there and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Well, the Recovery Center of Cameron County is committed to exceeding community standards in professional practice. And you know, their team is dedicated to responsibility to local patients. Their team offers many resources year round. And so, well, we thought we'd drop by to learn a little bit more about what's new and of course, how they can help us this upcoming new year. My name is Cesar Garcia. I'm the executive director for the Recovery Center of Cameron County. The Recovery Center of Cameron County has been uh, on its own for about 25 years. In fact, this year is the 25th anniversary. But before that, it used to be part of the Cameron County uh, Housing Authority. That's how we got our name and we kept it. Uh, what we do is we provide substance abuse treatment for individuals in Cameron County. And uh, we have a uh, a, a small grant from uh, the state that helps us provide free services. And I would venture to say that about 90% uh, or maybe a little bit more, uh, the services that we provide are free. What, uh, what we do is we provide these substance abuse treatment and uh, there's, uh, you know, individuals that uh, for whatever reason they, they get um, they get an addiction or they use and they uh, uh, is problematic in their in their life and so what we do is we meet with them and we uh, provide uh, individual counseling family counseling and uh, group process uh, and so out of all that you know the idea is to have the individual understand themselves and internalize that, that their own thoughts and behaviors or the one that's causing them the problems in their life. So with regard to uh, the activities that we have had here at the Recovery Center recently and what we hope to have, in September uh, was Recovery Month and so we, what we wanted to do to kind of relaunch and refamiliarize the community, Cameron County, with the Recovery Center, we held a, a, an event uh, at, at a local church so that we could, we could kind of relaunch the services and refamiliarize the community that we serve about the services of the Recovery Center. And we have uh, plans for an event in spring of 2023 uh, in a bigger venue to be able to invite the community uh, around the services and the need uh, for supporting uh, organizations like the Recovery Center of Cameron County. We are a, a small nonprofit organization, and just like any nonprofit, uh, anywhere in, in the valley or anywhere in the country really. We rely on grants, but at the same time, we have to keep the lights on, we have to keep uh, things moving, and, and because as Mr. Garcia says, we serve uh, the indigent population, the limited resource families here in Brownsville, in Harlingen, in La Feria, on the island, in Port Isabel, uh, there is always a need uh, for support, and so you can go to our Facebook page, you can go to our website, there's a donation button there um, for anyone who might be so inclined. Whether it's you or whether it's a family member that needs services, the Recovery Center of Cameron County is here to help. And we as a, as a unified board uh, just want to create awareness in our community about the need uh, to serve uh, everyone. Because alcoholism, drug addiction uh, does not discriminate. It, 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 it is rampant and it's everywhere. Uh, I am a uh, I, I'm a former uh, client of the Recovery Center. I was asked to be on the board, and so I'm pleased to be able to share this information with you and be part of this uh, prestigious board. All right, that's all our time for now, but thanks again so much for joining us today, and be sure to tune in again next time on Valley Por Vida. Until then.